Hello again guys, haven't seen you in a few days and that's, well let's say that's for a couple of reasons. One, I don't film the majority of my videos that far in advance and two, there was a very unfortunate loss in my family. My grandmother, my dad's mother, passed away from cancer at just over 90 years old. So we took a few days off, we went to see the family, we went to see her before she passed and let's just say it, it was a hard few days and I didn't even think twice about the fact that I didn't have anything planned for the channel. So apologies if you were missing anything but hopefully you understand. Anyway. To get back into things, I made a few changes, a few minor changes to my office here. And without any further ado, here you can see it. So this is the primary change over here. I turned my treadmill desk around so now I can stand at this desk and I can do my day job work. I can bring my laptop over here and edit if I really want to do that as well. But I can also take advantage of the new key feature of the room that I did with this entire redesign where I can actually watch the TV or play games or whatever else while being on the treadmill. So huge positive step in my opinion. And of course to go along with that, there need to be a couple of minor tech upgrades to this desk. I've mentioned it before, like I said, I'm using a treadmill desk for my day job stuff. It's actually one that I've upgraded in the last year and I haven't made a video about it yet. So if you'd like to see a video about this upgraded version, definitely let me know. I think it's the 2016 edition, so it's not too far out of date or anything. I don't think they've released an updated one, but there are a few things that I think that it's missing. So let's take a look at a couple of pieces of tech that this company sent out to me to take a look at. Let's get started. Now, in my opinion, the largest problem with this desk is power management. As you can see, I do have a power strip down there. It's got a few plugs in it at the moment. I've got a grommet up here that I can run some cables through if I need to, but there's no actual power distribution. There's no actual power ports or plugs or anything on the desk. Let's see if these things can help. Now, first up, to deal with the power distribution section of this, the company that sent all this out, they're called Make Tech. They sent what's called a U-shaped multifunction four outlet power strip with four USB ports. And it's just in a relatively unassuming plain cardboard box. You get a little user guide. It's a power strip though, so there's not gonna be that much to it. You get a little power cable, four foot long power cord, detachable. So if you're not using it for some reason, you can always just unplug the entire thing and hide the cord. And then of course, the U-shaped outlets. As you can see, on this side, we have two outlets and two USB ports. On the other side, two outlets, two USB ports. Then on the end, there's that three prong plug, as well as some info here. It says USB port output is five volts at 4.2 amps max. That means across all of them. Max AC power rating is 1200 watts. So you can actually plug some pretty powerful stuff in here as well or a decent amount of small things. That U-shaped surge protector runs about 20 bucks over on Amazon, so not terrible, to give you that convenience of having it nearby. And the opening here is a little over an inch. It looks like it is the perfect thickness to fit over my desk, but just make sure you do measure your desk to see if it's gonna fit in here if you're interested in picking one of them up. To deal with the power in the other part of the desk, the grommet hole, they actually make a USB plug for the grommet hole. So inside of this little box, again, another unassuming plain cardboard box, there are a couple of grommet hole covers. There's again, a detachable power cable, which we can technically run into this u-shaped power strip again we got all the paperwork and stuff we're never going to look at and then a four outlet grommet hole sized usb smart charger and it does mention here on the bottom dc output is five volts at six amps max but it does say over on amazon that it's up to 2.4 amps per port so as long as you're not maxing all of them out up to 2.4 amps each with a total max output of six amps. So let's go ahead and get these things installed, see how everything works together. So for the power strip, we'll just slide it over the end here. And technically I could put this just about anywhere on the desk. There we go, it took a little bit of force, but it's definitely on there solidly tight, like I could pull on it and it's not coming off easily. And I set it up in such a way that the cord will actually attach to the bottom. Looking at it in place, it would actually make sense if the USB ports were here on the end, but it's designed the way that it's designed. All right, power strip in place and plugged in. Now for this grommet hole, again, we can just pull this out. This is just a cover. I think this is the proper sized one. So it did come with two different size grommet hole covers. Put it down in there so it is tight and flush. Stick it down in the hole and we're in place. And then we can actually take the cord from this, plug it into the bottom, and then run that over and plug it into the power strip under here. Now there will be some cable management required because I do have this cable just dangling here and the other cable. I'll take care of all that, but as you can see, possibly there's a blue light here, there's a blue light back here, everything's got power. Let's hook up some USB devices and make sure all the ports work and everything and make sure they're charging at the right speeds. So here I've got my iPad Pro, the 12.9 inch model hooked up, and it's showing five volts at about 2.3 amps. I tried all four of these and just tried all four 
four of these back here and they're all showing right around 4.85 volts at 2.1 amps or just above 2 amps, so 2.08, 2.12. Although strangely enough, I just tested using my Galaxy S8 and the bottom two ports here are doing 5 volts at about 1.56 amps on that, whereas the top we're doing about 5 volts at 1.7. It's still going to get the job done, still going to charge everything in a reasonable amount of time. Just some sort of odd inconsistencies there. But just sort of early impressions about it. I like the way that it looks. Obviously I'd like it better if it matched the rest of the desk, but this is not white. This is kind of a gray color, so black is a good complement to that. And I will say, I'm not going to be able to give a good long-term impressions of these yet, just because I literally just installed them, but to have those kind of ports on my desk without having to do anything else to it, without having to make it really stand out or have something that can easily move around, having those ports put in one place so that I've now got three additional AC outlets as well as eight additional USB ports all for my work surface here. I am a big fan of that. And it actually means it's gonna be a little bit easier to do video type stuff over at this desk as well, so I can shoot videos over here now. So I'm a very big fan of that. And I would tell you how much that four port grommet adapter is, but it looks like it's unavailable on Amazon currently. So I'll put links to both of them so you can find them over on Amazon if you want to check them out. Just understand that the grommet USB smart charger outlet, that's not available at the moment, but it will be available again, hopefully. But thanks so much to Make Tech for sending these things out for me to check out. Thanks to you guys for your patience in my lack of videos for a few days there. We're gonna get back at it and have tons of videos coming out over the next few weeks, sticking to that Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. So be on the lookout. There should be another video coming in just a couple of days. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already and hit the thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you again next time.